What's going on YouTube? Today I want to talk about the Storm Arashi Glide swim bait. So this is brand new to the market. It's one of the budget models that you could say. It starts at $37.99 on Tackle Warehouse. I think Bass Pro sells them. I think Sportsman's Warehouse sells them and you can probably find them anywhere else as well. So I've been using this bait for a couple weeks now. I've thrown it at Havasu, I've thrown it at Mojave, and I've thrown it, not this particular color in general, but all of them. And I'm just going to give my two cents over it. Um, as you can see for this one, there's not a lot of hook rash on it. Um, that's because I haven't caught anything with them yet. My honest opinion is they're not what they could be. I love, so here's what I love about the bait. You have the pin first which can replace the tail. It's also a flexible tail and I love that. But you can replace the tail if need be, if it rips or if it tears or if it's, you lose it, they dry out, whatever. Um, second thing is that it has a triple pin construction in there. So the front joint has three actual pins that lock in place. So it makes it a lot more durable bait on the joint. Um, it also has swiveling hook hangers so we all know that big fish that comes by and it wrecks us well we don't have to worry about blowing split rings or anything anymore because the bait isn't going to bind up on you you're not going to have the hooks bind up um, some things i didn't like about it number one the hardware that it came with it came with some crappy snap i don't even know what it was, I don't even know the strength of it. I pulled on it and it broke. Um, that was maybe four or five pounds, if that, maybe more like two or three pounds of strength, and then it just popped. So I have a decoy egg snap. This is in the size four, so this is like 70 or 80 pounds. Um, for the hooks, the hooks that it came with, I did not like. Maybe for just your like simple largemouth and smallmouth fishing, that'll do. But I also fish for stripers, so I don't want to throw this in a lake that has stripers and then get mauled by a 20 pluser and have everything break on me. So I have size 6 um, owner hyper wire split rings on there, and then I've also got this is the size 1 ST58, and specifically the ST58. This is a Zowire, it's the new Zowire hook. So it's going to give you kind of the same as 3x strength. They're a little bit smaller than the hooks that it actually came with in terms of like the hook gap and everything, but they're a lot stronger. Um, being that they're a little bit smaller too, it also helps the weight compensation as well. Um, so this bait does kind of sink, even with the stock hooks, it's got kind of a sink to it. And I didn't find that replacing it with size one i mean you don't have to do these exact hooks you can do size one of any of your preferred brand but size one that's what i recommend and again st58 they're not your st66s so they're not the four racks like hefty duty hefty weight and all that um so at least you have stripers or big fish in your lake these hooks will hold no problem now from what I've seen fishing this bait, I consider it like a freestyle S waiver. So it's about the same size. This is seven and three quarters, seven and a half, seven and three quarters, depending on variables. Um, they're all mass produced. And I mean, as you can see, this particular one, it's a little bit hollow. So mass production, you're gonna have some goods, you're gonna have some bads, you're gonna have some ugly ones. Oh, that guy just biffed it. <laughs> Don't be using your daughter's scooter, dude. <laughs> I'm not Kiwanis, and this dude came down one of the hills and just... <laughs> he just bailed on it. Anyways, back to the lure. So this is the Oki, o Okawa Masu, some... I, I don't know. You try to pronounce it. Um, and I've had a couple of these for like the black shad or the black back shad. I have the threadfin shad, I have the rainbow, I have the ghost rainbow. None of those worked for me, unfortunately. And I tried to pick this one up thinking, well, you know what? Everyone talks about this color. This is a popular color with the Roman maids as well. 
I don't know, maybe I don't know how to use the bait efficiently yet. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I haven't caught anything with that yet. I have five of them. I haven't caught a single fish on any of them. And that was kind of surprising that I was fishing Havasu with stripers and they were in. Wasn't catching anything with this. Fishing Lake Mojave was actually catching stripers on everything else I threw out, actually. Um, where is it? That's kind of one of them right there. Yeah. That's one that catches them. And I was thinking, okay, cool. They're eating throw out not a bite not a follow not a sniff nothing so that was really depressing on my part oh it was a trutas i think the trout are starting to get active now like i said i don't know if i just don't know how to fish the bait yet i don't know if there's a specific way that these need to be done but i will like i said earlier I do consider it like a freestyle S waiver so it sinks a lot quicker and on the straight retrieve it dives too as well so keep that in mind if you're fishing anything shallower than 10 feet more specifically like six seven eight foot be careful because you might scrape bottom um, the deepest spot here that I found in Kiwanis is like what 8.7 feet and when I'm fishing around five, six foot, um, these actually dredge bottom. Now I'm getting clams, I'm getting leaves. So be careful if you're fishing shallow. If you're fishing deeper, so if you're on a boat, you're fishing a deeper ledge or drop off or something like that, this should get you bit. That's more specifically where I've been fishing these is on ledges, is on drop offs, on places where there's either adjacent to deep water or is deep water but no follows no strikes no hits nothing and i can throw baits that are more expensive than this and catch a fish and i can throw baits that are half the price of this and catch fish so my honest opinion is i'm not quite sure about it quite yet personally to me and a couple of my friends that have been fishing with them we're not too excited about it honest truth is we're not too excited about it but the action is amazing the detail is pretty good another thing i don't like is it doesn't i mean because the sun's behind me you get some flash but the bait doesn't have a whole lot of flash in the water it doesn't throw light and it's not obnoxious in the water i mean it it hardly even Aside from the hooks, it hardly even makes any noise. And I don't even hear that too much in the water. Like with an s waiter, you usually hear the clack, clack, clack. Um, I, I don't know. I just don't know if it doesn't have the right fish catching. I don't know if it's because I don't know how to fish it yet. But this is my honest opinion. Um, in places... Like I was saying, where I'd fish this because it does sink, your ledges, your drop-offs, your humps, your, like, saddles, islands, stuff like that, where you've got deep water around you, or you're fishing in the deep water, or, like, again, a ledge or a bluff or whatnot, that's where... Go away. That's where I would be fishing these, and that's where I've been fishing these, so... We'll see how it goes from here. Um, they've only been out for like a month. This is January 1st of 2020. Yeah. New year. So we'll see. Maybe new bait. Maybe a new bait will get us going. Um, yeah. That's my opinion, guys. If you've caught fish on it, good job. If you're really liking the bait, fantastic. Just for me, I, I don't know. I like it. I like the design. I like the colors. I like how they swim. I love the way they swim. They swim fantastic. Just their fish catching and their fish drawing capabilities. I don't know. So I guess I'll just have to leave that up to you. And if anything changes, I'll make an update in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for hearing my two cents on this. 
Happy New Year. Have a good day, guys.